Welcome back. ABC 7 First Alert remains in effect. We're going to start out with a live look at Doppler radar since I am tracking some rain and snow around the Sacramento Mountains. Now, currently, we're not seeing any rain in the El Paso area. Ruidoso, Cloudcroft, that's where we are seeing snow. And as we travel a little further south around Hudspeth, Culberson County, I'm also tracking some light rain. Now, I want to expand things out across Texas because this winter storm is really going to be a major concern, not only for today, but for tomorrow. South of Lubbock, already seeing freezing rain, but light showers around Abilene, San Angelo, and light rain in Dallas. But this strong storm system has now ignited a winter storm warning, which will be in place tonight through tomorrow for the Dallas area. Central and East Texas will be under this winter storm warning. An area of concern will be freezing rain, that rain snow mix, and this could cause some issues for those of you that are maybe driving. Definitely want to check on your family members as well that live in that area. But our future track model, seven o'clock, we're partly cloudy, we're under partly cloudy skies. By nine o'clock, we'll see a little bit of sunshine. By lunchtime, we'll start to see the rain slowly move into the area. By four o'clock, light showers around Chaparral, El Paso. We could see some moderate rain, far east El Paso. By 10 o'clock, our Eastern counties will have that chance for snow and so were the Sacramento Mountains. Our chance rolls in here by one o'clock from El Paso to Chaparral. We're even seeing some freezing rain around the west side of town and parts of central El Paso. By three o'clock, far east side, we've got snow. This extends into the Hudspeth, Culberson County area. Las Cruces, no snow for you guys, at least the three o'clock hour, but you're gonna get your chance at six o'clock. Then El Paso will get a break. More snow, Hudspeth and Culberson County and around the area mountains. Now this latest model does show we'll be drying out around lunchtime. We'll still be under mostly cloudy skies and it is going to be very cold. By 10 o'clock, we'll start to see clearing skies and I think the system will be out of here by Friday at five o'clock. But unfortunately, then our concern is gonna shift to the cold temperatures. We will be waking up to teens and single digits across El Paso County and Doniana County. But here's our snowfall model. This is gonna give us an idea of how much snow we could accumulate through 10 o'clock tonight. The heaviest snow falls around the Sacramento Mountains. Two o'clock tomorrow morning, we will be seeing about an inch and a half here in El Paso and around the five o'clock hour, about two inches. After six o'clock, that's gonna be your chance, Las Cruces. So for today, 30% chance for rain. I keep the umbrellas handy for today. 59 will be our afternoon high. That's gonna be the warmest we're gonna get because by Thursday, 80% chance for snow showers, it's gonna be freezing. We'll be lucky if we get above that freezing point on Thursday. Friday morning, 16 degrees. So at this point, we're talking dangerous cold. Friday, we're at 34 degrees, warmer but still freezing. Cold Saturday morning at 19 degrees, and it's going to be chilly this weekend.